Hey there, and welcome to another episode of The Driveway. Today, we're going to walk through the installation of this new set of Ford Boxling cleats. Ford sells these direct for about $100, but similar cheaper versions can be found on Amazon. I believe you get these plates installed by Ford when you option the spray and bed liner. Since it's done at the factory, Ford doesn't spray behind the plate itself to allow for the cleat to fit. I know others who spray and bed liner after delivery often have problems and need to sand or shave part of the cleat away to fit it. And while that's not an issue here, the Ford brand cleats are extremely difficult to fit in while the plate's against the bedside. So I'm going to show you how to take the plate off, use a rubber mallet to fit the cleat into the plate, and then put it all back together. To start, I'd recommend detaching the plate from the bed itself. Trying to fit the cleat in is quite difficult as it is, and trying to manage that while the plate's still attached was nearly impossible for me. You'll need a T30 screw to remove these, and I went by hand to make sure I didn't strip the screws. Once the screws are removed, you'll have to pull the plate off the liner itself, and sometimes it detaches cleanly and other times it can be a bit stuck. If it does get stuck though, I'd recommend using something sharp to cut the liner off the plate so you don't inadvertently peel some of the liner off. Over in this area, because it's like a little stuck to it. So what I'm doing is taking a flathead screwdriver. You could use like a chisel or something, something sharp and kind of get in there. I'm going to put the phone down so I can finish doing this, but um, yeah, just get in behind there and you can kind of peel apart the line, the uh, bed liner there. Get a really good look at what I'm talking about. There you go. Pop right off. All right, so you can see here, I have my rubber mallet, our plates, and what I'm going to do is you really got to knock this portion into that spot there. So again, I'm going to have to put the phone down to do this, but the motion that seems to work is taking the mallet and just trying to hit right there. After a few wallops, you should kind of have that piece move down and get locked in there. All right, this one's in there, and I just kind of kept going like, like that until it was snug. You keep this unlocked, it just goes right in there. All right, so we got everything lined up, and we're just going to screw it all back in with our T30. All right, let's see. Perfect. All right, so we finished the installation of all four box cleats, and I think this is one of those situations where taking a few minutes to remove the plate and attach the cleat outside the bed of the truck saves a bunch of time in the long run. If I didn't receive these from the dealer for free, I'd likely go with a cheaper version, but leave your experiences in the comments below. I'm not sure how much variation you'd find in different parts, and I also assume some of those would include the four plates and others wouldn't, which would definitely impact the price. Hopefully you found this helpful. Hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time on the driveway.